Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. Uh, I'm Elin here, along with... Nakir! And welcome to Showcase Sunday, number 63. And, uh, yeah, to give a short explanation for anyone who might, uh, who might be new to the... Uh, who, uh, who might be watching one of these for the first time. Uh, we basically give four games uh, about half an hour each to see if they're any good for streaming or not. Uh, we've gone A to Z before, but I've been rather picky with what to show and such. So this time we're going through A to Z with a lot less uh, yeah, pickiness in it. <clears throat> so yeah, the first game that we have today is Age of Wonders 3. And yeah, this is... I can already tell this is going to be another civilization-like game. And Drakir yes, apparently knows know. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have it. I played it. I played the second game without expansion, but I have this game as well with the uh, Olix expansion. And as we can see here, made by Triumph, which is our Dutch company. Okay, that I didn't know of. Uh, also, the company that made Dungeons and Overlord. Okay. So they know what they're doing. And this game right. is quite fun. Alright, I, I, I played one of the Overlord games, the second one. The first one not, but we might get to those games eventually. For now well, though, let's see. Select campaign, official, Elven Court, as Sundran, princess of the renowned High Elves. Claim your destiny and decide the future of the world. Recommended for new players with the tutorial. And then there's the Commonwealth, as Edward, promising dreadnought and loyal citizen of the Commonwealth. Yeah, follow your path to glory and conquest. Let's give this one a shot. And we'll start the timer. I've lowered it down to 25 minutes to avoid overtime as much as the we've done. The wheel of ages turns, set in motion by two opposing powers preparing for war. The Commonwealth, humanity's greatest empire, spreads to every continent. Emperor Leonis promises to reward ambition regardless of race, creed, or descent. The Empire's machines roll forward, bringing wealth to those willing to crush all opposition. The Elven Court will not submit. It is our duty to protect Athla, so that the wonders of our world will never fade. My name is Sundran, and this is my journal. Hello there in the chat, Little Tree Life. Uh, this Hello is Age of Wonders 3. Uh, we'll be trying out four games for about half an hour each. I've set a timer at 25 minutes, uh, because we've tended to go overboard a bit with, well, giving a game extra time to well, finish things off a bit. So, let's see. Simultaneous turns, normal. Okay. Yeah, I, I'd say, I never did the, exp the campaigns. I only did the customs. Okay. I don't really recall playing any My civilization game that had much us, campaign here. Once first Stormlord of the Dark Elves. My mother is Julia, former queen of the Wood Elves. Their passion reunited dark and light souls, restoring the High Elves. Their power reinvigorated the glory of Ineoch's ancient elven court. My brother, Prince Thanis, is first born. He is schooled in war and statecraft, destined to great deeds. I was born second and a girl. All my father wants me to do is secure a powerful husband. But I want none of that. In public, I may be a dutiful daughter, but I have trained and I have spied. I will be more than just a princess. In the court, envoys come and go. Everyone talks of war. Many flock to the banner of our elven court, seeking refuge from the human-run commonwealth with their technologies of metal and smoke. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Uh... Werlach, one of the advisors of your father, approaches you with an offer. I have noticed your interest in matters of state, Sandrin. It is wise of you to train for possible conflict. Humans are growing ever, uh, ever bolder, and if war should come, the Elven Court will be stronger for your, are your efforts. If you want to learn more, I can tutor you. Let's go, because there's probably intricacies here that we can't really guess at. Yeah. It, it takes a while to learn. I, I learned a lot of things over the years, I realized I, one a few times I did early, years earlier, was rather 
badly rushed. But I got him better. Okay. Also, from what I know, this game is is as is praised for good world building and lore building. Do people have been a little bit mixed on the storytelling? Okay. Let's see. Welcome to Eldor. This legendary isle is pivotal in the history of the elves, but poxrid and vermin known as goblins are freely defiling its beauty with their blighted diseases, even ransacking the tomb of your grandmother, Ilvin. Uh, you shall have to cleanse this land of their insolent presence. Okay. I have given you the Tome of Wonders, a book describing our world in detail. Now, uh, sometimes I refer, I refer, yeah, refer to it. You can click on the blue words to get extra information from the tome. Okay, nice little uh, bit to make things easier to find, look up. Let's start with building a storehouse in here in, in your village. It will help the village to grow into a town faster, expanding your domain and giving you more income and productivity cap capacity, which you will need for trading new armies. Let's click on your city to open the city interface. Yeah, that's one thing that's common with nearly all of these Civ-like games. You want to start off on food early on to start expanding quickly. Yeah, and do I be say this? This game is kinda a mix of civilization and heroes of might and magic. I was getting a bit of that feel, yeah. Welcome to your city. Selecting a city will select your... Go ahead. Uh, as I say, that's, that's the, really just the best combination I can explain this to other people. Okay. Continue. The city overview gives you information on the city's current population, size and income, resources produced in cities are added to your global resource pool. Also pretty basic. Gold is used to build city upgrades and units. Mana is used to cast spells and knowledge. Uh, okay, that's probably research is used to research new skills. Production indicates how fast the city can build city upgrades and units. Population growth determines the time it takes for a city to grow. Also pretty basic, save for the mana. But that's more that's typically more used in the more magical versions, like this game. Tabs on the left show the units and upgrades the city can produce, while the queue of things the city is producing is displayed in the center of the screen. Over there. The total cost of a unit slash upgrade divided by the production of a city determines the number of turns it takes to have where to be built. Uh, since you already uh, start with a large army, you should concentrate on upgrading your city. Building a storehouse in the city will increase the city's population growth by 100, allowing the city to grow and expand its borders faster. To build a storehouse, select uh, reduce upgrades from the tab on the left, select the storehouse, to, uh, click on it, and then click on the produce. Okay. Yeah, they divided it up in here. Okay, that is useful. Sometimes yep. they just put everything in the same bar and you have to scroll up and down through it the entire thing. Yeah, I can say, you can speed things up, but they may come at the cost of the population happiness. Okay. So, yeah, it's a gamble. This is your skill book. The current page shows the skills that you can research, which include new spells, upgrades to your empire, and new units you can produce. Knowledge is used to fuel research. It is produced in your cities from laboratories and observatories, as well as from certain structures in your domain, such as the vault is knowledge. Uh, start researching basic seafaring since you are on an island. Uh, let's see. There it is. Okay. Eldor, this island belongs to the Elven uh, court. Goblins are desecrating its pristine nature and despoiling the tomb of Elwyn, uh, once queen of all elves. We should explore the island and see what happened to Elwyn's tomb for ourselves. To do this, we must capture watchtowers or send out units to scout. Okay. Oh, also, a heads up, so I hope you this much in another. This game has a very much European humor. <laughs> okay. Because you can notice when you read the flavor texts. We have selected an army. An army is a stack of uh, uh, of one up to six units on a single hex. Okay, so not you know, that every single thing keeps us to <laughs> has to occupy a single hex. Uh, and is used to explore the world, attack your enemies, and defend your cities. When an army is selected, you can click on each unit's icon to get more information about them. I'm selecting, you can move it by right-clicking. Move to this gold mine to the northeast, okay. Uh, hi of sword, I mean, Sundran, it is good to see you. We were on our way to welcome you in the city, only to see that these goblins have taken over in the gold mine. 
The army too strong, is too strong for us. If we attack with both our armies, we can overwhelm them with superior numbers. One moment, Sundran. More armies are always good, but armies need to uh, be paid and upkeep. Uh, now these soldiers have joined us, our old gold income will be lower. Yeah. Yeah, that was another thing we have to look out for. Yeah, that, you, that is often something that uh, will cost players the ne their neck or the match, that they expand too fast for their gold to upkeep, or to keep up. <laughs> Yeah, we make Necromancer class quite risky with one spell. Like, sure, you spawn undead everywhere in the world. Massive army, but that's only... You may suddenly realize your money is running out quickly as well. Yeah. Some wretched goblins have taken over the gold mine. We have to take it back. Attacking with multiple armies allows you to take more units into battle, leading to easier victories with less casualties. Okay. Uh, are they mixed up? Or no, 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 okay, they attack separately. Okay, but they can attack at the same time, it seems. Okay. Yep. An army can be without hero, but you can also have an army with only heroes. Is it recommended for some things, like a dungeon sometime? Okay, now I'm also <laughs> more seeing more of the Heroes of Might and Magic stuff. <laughs> Yep, but a bit hybrid, I said. Yeah. It's time for us to begin our attack on the enemy. The defenders always get to act first. We should use this uh, moment to examine our opponents and think up a strategy. Okay. <laughs> there goes the Goblin Untouchable. I, yeah, they, <laughs> they look like something you wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. Yeah, they are the weakest, but they are also deadly in their own way due to that. They are a bit of a unique. Yeah, poisons and such probably. Let's see. Now this is time for us to act. You can select individual units and give them orders. Uh, once all of our units have moved, we can end our turn. Every unit has three action points which are used up by moving and attacking. Okay. Sundran is your leader. Leaders are one of the strongest units in your army and are capable to uh, cap are, yeah, are able to cast spells in battle instead of attacking. They, they can even cast spells when they are not personally present on the battlefield, though it, this is more expensive to do so. During your journey you will also encounter heroes who have their own spells and special abilities to use in battle. Okay, so you can move... Yes, yeah, so you can move, either move three spaces or move and attack. Yeah, if you go to uh, yellow, you can still attack. If you go to red, you can't attack at all. And I would just recommend to use the blowpipe. Okay, so they have see that she has poison one. resistance, so... Storm Sisters are support units. They have a powerful range attack that does shock damage, making them very effective against machines. They also have the stunning touch ability, letting them paralyze dangerous enemies before they can do too much damage. Okay, out of range. Not anymore, but they are at some distance. There we go. And more Storm Sisters. And there we go. Still doing a good amount of damage, despite the penalty. Uh, swordsmen are infantry units. Swordsmen have sword and shield and are ideal for protecting your longbowmen and storm sisters. So we'll yeah, put those over here. Yeah, also here's something we have the infantry. If you move them like one or two steps within yellow, they can counterattack. Or okay. attack anything that was near them. So if someone tries to run past them, they may cut them down. That's very useful to know. Yep. Um, and if you were to end turn, they will automatically go into guard mode. Okay, so this one used up all its moves. This one didn't. I don't think they can reach us. I think you can check that if you uh, click on the enemy. There we go. That is how far the they can attack, I hope. Uh, the, the, the weight is how far they can go. The circles is how far they can shoot. Okay, so they are just out of range there, but these are in range. 
Okay, that yeah. is a bit bad. These will have to rush forwards. Kind yeah, of a bad idea to split them around like that. Yeah, you did some tactical arrows, but not too bad. And you put the guard mode on. I think that they should be doing that automatically. Ending your turn. You have just ended your turn. Any units who have still you know, who still have action points left will automatically use the guard ability. Guarding gives a bonus to defense and resistance and extends a unit's threatened zone to hexes behind it, so it cannot be flanked. Units also replenish their action points at the end of their turn. Now the goblins are moving. And they're going straight for the leader. Yeah, and as you see what they do, everyone are they are near get disgusted. This unit has been flanked, meaning it has been attacked from a hex outside its threatened zone. When a unit is flanked, it takes more damage and loses the ability to retaliate as it turns to face its attacker. Flanking is a vital partner of combat. It allows you to maximize the damage you do while minimizing the damage you take. Okay, so even on ranged attacks, you can be flanked, it seems. But it does make sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, maybe I should not have broken that barrel. Yeah. That unit just retaliated because it was struck in melee combat. Retaliating uses up, uses up that unit's you know, action points. So if it retaliates three times, it has no more action points left to act in its own turn. Okay, so you can even just stay parked somewhere. Let's order them directly to attack those. And they are flanked. Yep. And now she can kill them. Yep. Even now, and right she didn't level up. Uh, let's see. They are out her of range. Her moral is low. I saw her being pissed off. Do it again. She does have the disgust. Yeah. Okay. You lot move in. Uh, you lot move back and then attack. There we go. That way they can strike without the disgusted debuff. And you just move forward as far as you can. Anyone else? You lot. Can you still attack? Yes, even at the penalty. Okay. Get closer there. And they can reach. Attack. Uh, the there you go. And it's. They can't move, but it says that they still have an action, so let's just end the turn. Action to do god mode. Oh, uh, when your leader is defeated in battle but still has their throne city, they will escape into the void. Uh, while your leader is in the void, research is halted and you cannot cast spells uh, with your leader. The leader will return to the throne city after three turns. Okay. <laughs> Bad start. Yeah. Watch out for that. Yeah, I, I think that the, the research halt is probably going to be a bigger issue than them being unavailable. As well, the them would be, uh, you can't use the, like, if you have a hero in an army, you can use your loot to still cost the spells, even with a little, the, the less group. But if the hero is fallen, your lord is fallen, you can't use the magic at all. You can only use the heroes. Okay. I got some achievements there. I've actually forgot to turn that on. That that it can be captured. So give me a moment while I set up Do Not Disturb on Steam. So uh, it yeah, isn't just I, constantly I, just... Uh, this one has um, logged on and such. From what I could see, the pop-up did not appear. Yeah. At uh, least on the recording. Let's see. This one it is. Then properties. Then scroll down it. Actually, wait. Capture third party overlays such as Steam is on. So it should have been caught. But apparently it wasn't. Okay. That's odd. Oh, it was on, but. Oh well. OBS being glitchy. Uh, how does it feel, Sundren? Victory on the field battle? He asked her corpse. 
I can see you have it in you to become a capable leader. Those goblins are nothing but filthy poisonous creatures relying on weakening their enemies and spreading their blighted diseases. We had best rid, them so, uh, rid ourselves of them entirely. Okay. Finished the mission, and we got paid for that. Be safe, lead three. Okay, see ya. And um, let's see, army requires your orders. Yeah, you can actually merge armies. Yeah, but this one is all can't take on the entire th uh, thing, I'm guessing. Let's True. see. They are our enemy. When, uh, when would they ever learn to live in harmony with what they have instead of really wanting more? I guess their short lives make it impossible for them to see the consequences of their actions. They do not need to sustain their surroundings. That is why uh, that is why you need to talk responsibility. Why you need to take responsibility, Sandrin. Your family has long ruled the world and should do so again. Okay, and we cut to that watchtower, which gave us line of sight around it. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, I can just say this: in Age of Wonders games one, two, and three, there's usually been some tensions between elves and humans. Especially with how, uh, yeah, how expansionistic humans are. Okay. Uh, can we so, cast a spell from here? Wood elves used to be like quite close added to some humans, but since they become high elves, they've got tension sense. Yeah. One race, we're going to rest, the one will race again. Yeah, like always. Let's see, global spells. This page lists your global spells uh, are spells that can be cast on the strategic map. They require mana and casting points to cast and some uh, some cost mana every turn to be sustained. The amount of turns it takes to cast a spell is determined by the total mana cost divided by the casting points you've got per turn. You can cancel an active global spell at any time using the overview panel on the top left. So similar to that uh, other a uh, magical Civ game that we played. I, I tried it a, a, bit, a, little, a little longer, but it just got bogged down with everything eventually. Yeah, as it, this game is fun. I learned over time that uh, maybe not to have too many enemies will make the map too big or such. Otherwise, it would take yeah. a, quite a long time. We've ended the turn and a new one begins. You can always use the event list on the right side of the screen to see the important events of the turn. Uh, click on the events to manage them. Okay. Oh, don't forget, there is a fourth game. But that one is called Age of Wonders Planetfall. And that one is more sci-fi. Okay. So it's basically an entire new story. But it still uses the Age of Wonders system. Let's see. Mana, crystallized magical energy. When you cast uh, spells, you consume mana and casting points. Your cities can regenerate if you build the corresponding shrines and temples. I advise you to summon Grimby Crows to scout ahead. Click on the spell casting. Yeah, we already summoned it. Okay, we found mana. That is what it's. You can uh, cast it now called. already. You can cast it now. Yeah. Let's see. Next to friendly units. Okay, so when it turns green, they have a lot of view. But they are meant right. for scouting, and they can fight. Okay. So, let's move ahead with it here. A settlement of the local elves of Eldor, who have asked us for help with this goblin infestation. Uh, they should be honored that one of Enoch's uh, heirs gra graces them with a visit. Independent towns will offer friendship and quests, but some may be hostile. Let us see what they have to say. Okay. Yeah, okay. Again, I'm going to speak. In customs, I learned that having them as vassals as long as possible is good for then they upgrade their own towns by themselves and occasionally send you troops. Okay. But sure, you can, after the few quests, you can convert them instantly, but then you yourself have to build up the town yourself. And yeah, that would cost a lot of money. Yeah, okay, so good to keep them as vassals and if they reach a certain point, then to take over. Exactly. Exactly. Let's... That's the point. Uh, the idea, Helion. Good boy. We have a quest. Clear mana node. Okay. Medium difficulty. No turn list. Uh, you know, no turn limit. Li uh, uh, no turn limit. Uh, wisps are feeding on our mana node, blocking our income. We have been. A we have attacked them ourselves, but we feared our stuns and teleports. 
Uh, they have also healed. They, they are also healed by the mana currents, an active combat effect. You can see where a structure has a combat effect the moment you attack. The effects icon will be shown under the big portrait of the enemy on the right. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of those to think about as well. For the, the game is complex just enough to be fun. But those okay. pixies can be damn annoying. Like, they're damn weak, but the damn stun can be just enough to have them just kick your ass. Yeah. Mm. It isn't always about just brute force. Also, just debuffs and such are, yeah. can be of a massive effect. Yeah, in this one of games, but it is actually good balance. Like, it has some, been some games like this I've seen that why even bother buffing? It's just brute force. But here, you actually have a reason to use your magic and buffs and everything else. And it, it's probably I played it too much. Okay. And it looks like these things can be affected by shock damage, which makes sort of sense. Let's see. They can attack both of them. Let's let's group up our troops somewhat. Yeah. The, oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. You wanna? You may wanna angle them to make them turn. Otherwise, they get flanked. Uh, what button do I need, use for that? Oh, that's that's one is always a tricky. You, you can if you hold all your, your troop, you will see. Uh, the icon of the unit there, that it should... You have to move, move your mouse somewhere on the unit to see them turn. When you see the turn thingy, you turn. And it's it's it, it's one of the few critics I have with it. Sometimes it, it it's cooperative, other times it refuses. Okay. Uh, move, guard... Next. Okay, I I don't see the option, and that's the timer going off. So let's finish off this battle. Oh yeah, and... yeah it does no option. You just get a icon over the unit when you want to make them turn around. And yeah, that's the problem. It, it doesn't always it doesn't always come up. Okay, so they they are sort of fucked. Yeah. No. Here's the other thing about the wisp. They teleport. Okay, so maneuvering around doesn't really help too much. Well, they did yeah, say that like, they feed their teleports. Yeah, though, it can be good to have them close so they can uh, easily counterattack, but sometimes when they counterattack, they can end up getting stunned due to the damn things. Like, yeah, these things are weak, but the damn teleportation and stuns can really get annoying. Yeah, like how they tele they're teleporting behind our lines. <laughs> Okay, you lot. Wait. Oh wait, it was source money, yeah. Hmm? All right, yeah. <laughs> they still had attacks I... left. <laughs> yeah, I did warn you about that. Okay, strike them from the back. So these guys. Oh yeah, these are <laughs> heavy loss. Where are they? Let's see. They have. Okay, that's their rank. Oh, they have only seven HP left. Yeah, they. <laughs> Wait, 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 I wish to tell you to use the blue pipe. <laughs> and she can't attack again. Uh, let's see, do these have... No, they don't have any sort of healing ability. Uh, you lot... Okay, they can disengage, but they can, they'll still get attacked. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to warn you about that. But I think you see why I love this game. Yeah, that, it's a lot more depth, uh, depth than uh, the, the Civ games typically have. Yeah, like it both the best aspect of Hero Rose Might Magic and Civ and add a bit of their own things to it to make it very good. And I see now that the, the red part of the banner shows how much health a unit has left and that one has none left now. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Blue pipe, you got two options. Okay, acid take that one. We'll Take the latter one. Take that. Yes. Take that. Uh, I think you did something wrong there. Yeah, I, I clicked the wrong one. Uh, let's see. Four acid damage, four fire damage. Uh, 
can trigger up to three times. Okay. So one, two. Okay, that, that's a very powerful one. Oh yeah, at the right opponent and, and distance. It's a lot of better of a blowgun than uh, Marquis de Singe used. <laughs> uh, yeah, that it is. Okay, you ever thank Sundren of House Enioch for clearing our mana node from those whips, uh, wisps. We, have, uh, we would be honored to follow you into battle and end the goblin menace. Okay. Nice. Spot at the Brigand Hideout. This is a spawn sightable spawn hostile unit who will attack our scouts in cities. We have to cross the water and destroy them. Okay. Yeah, they, uh, that I can also that, like. Huh? like for, it's not always the enemy may attack you, while in the BCs can also attack you. Alright. Uh, I'll put on the save, I'll play... try this more. Oh, that might be a good idea. And also, for people who want to play this, if you see unicorn riders, be careful. The unicorn the riders can teleport. <laughs> okay. This means that the only cavalry that can assault your walls by teleporting up or behind your walls. Okay, that's the first game done. I'm a bit torn on it. Like all the other civilization-like games, uh, it could just go on forever and ever, though it does seem that this one does have some actual story an actual campaign to go through instead of just going through random, uh, randomly generated uh, matches. Yeah, I suspect it will be fun to stream. The only problem is how long. Yeah. We may and... have to do research on it. Okay, so moving on to the second game then. <laughs> this may already look familiar to some. Okay, now it did show the pop-up in the corner there. Okay. Oh, spicy. Welcome to Alice Madness Returns. Nice. This is a good game. I've not played it, but I've seen other people play it. Yeah, I've... I haven't played it through myself as well, but I have seen it played through, and I will say this, I will warn right off the bat, uh, this game gets pretty freaking dark. This is not a kid's game. Not at all. No, no. idea if it has anything in common with the original book, or a bit of uh, a, a creative creativity. Well, still, not for kids. Yeah, I'll say this. This uh, has nothing in common with the uh, books or the Disney version, because uh, th this is the sequel to uh, American McGee's Alice, uh, which already was a, its own spin on the Alice story. And, well, this just continued it on. Let's Wait, see, yeah, Alice, we, got, we need to say this. A new one is coming. Yep. There, uh, number three has been in the works for quite some time, what I've heard, but it is, it they are slow on, yeah, let's not do that. They are slow on putting out updates on that. This okay. can be good, since it avoids spoilers. And yeah. also you want to be careful with hyping. You don't want to hype too much. The timer has been started and yeah. Nom. 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 Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. I can't. I'm trapped. My past. What happened? I have no idea. Discord disconnection? I, I, I stayed. You disconnected. No, Alice. 
Discard that delusion. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. Um. I'd rather not do Why it. is it? My Wonderland. Is it loading? It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? Okay, this I'm gonna be some uh, face. With a friend. Okay, okay, I I'm gonna jump out and try to it's log. Different somehow. Things okay. have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in yeah. the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? There we go. Back at oh. wait, you're not even screen sharing anymore. Struggle, Alice. Let the new one emerge. Uh, uh, test one, two, three, four. All right. It's killing me. Uh, can you try a screen show? My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. Uh, if I click anything, I think it might skip there. things. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now... Before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie, your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Okay, give me a second. Uh, Discord there. Yeah, for some reason it seems to have cut off the screen share. It, not that one OBS, so everything can be seen. There we go. Okay, I have no idea why the hell that's what happened. Yeah, say that that was random. Yeah, at the very least you missed the uh, more horrible parts of that. Well, I've seen the intro before. Okay, mouse is being a bit sensitive. Uh, I haven't tested the games beyond if they will work with OBS, mostly. Okay, this uh, is controls. new to me. Then again, YouTube didn't really show off the option uh, menu. Yeah, um, I'm not really... Okay, it doesn't work with the, gr with the mouse wheel. And I'm not really seeing it anywhere for the mouse sensitivity. Okay. Uh, video, everything should be on its strongest. Keep that off, please, because that always seems to screw with things. Okay. Game is running a bit slow at 30 FPS, though. For... The loo smells awful. Worse than your room? And... Yeah, as you can see, where bloomers. Alice isn't really in a good place. Can't find the door. Well, this time period was not exactly known for the best orphanage. Like some were good, sure, but many were uh, infamous. Yeah, the Victorian era is romanticized a lot, and. Uh, it hides up a lot of the mess. Monday's wash day. Now, this is the same room we were just in. Oh, hello. My stories to the children bear strange fruit. Their drawings expose pieces of my mind. Um. Yeah. Has it, in the last decades, I think it has been less romant romanticized, a bit more revealing that it was not as pretty as people presumed. Yeah. First person. Okay. Doctor, do you right? Still sick in the head? I'm past a cure. Terminal condition. 
And yeah, Alice isn't in a good place physically or mentally. Wasting doctor's time. I deserve my bitter tears. Want some? And for a game that's oh is a bit over ten years old, this took, still looks really good. Oh yeah, even the original one still looks good. Let's see, is there nothing I can do about the graphics? Uh, uh, 3D blur, post process. Let's turn that off. The dynamic shadows off. And still 30 FPS. It could be that the game is sort of locked to that. Let's see. The illustrated news feeds uh, an insatiable appetite for domestic mayhem and industrial disaster. Fire at match factory, six girls missing. Is there anything more predictable? The world's gone quite mad. Yeah, okay, nothing that's much has changed there. To, uh, still today, even the world is mad. Mr. Payne had no idea how humble a home could be. If not for my drawings and the photographs, this could pass for my room at the asylum. Yeah, uh, in the last game, she was in asylum, people. Yeah. Nothing to examine here. Yeah, earn your keep. Both good and bad uh, phrase. Like, it can be used for good, but also misused. Also, the term mad as a hatter, that was because hatters in the Victorian era... I didn't expect that. They uh, worked a lot with mercury. So, uh, yeah, over time... Uh, a different dream, perhaps. It would drive them quite bonkers. I did not know that, and that explains so many things. Houndsditch home for wayward youth, Dr. Angus Bumby, prop uh, proprietor. Bumby? Yeah, it's the Brits, of course there's going to be silly names. You like Boccherini, Missy? How about Paganini? It is silly or kind of gruesome. But again, some names that may sound silly was due to they did not expect children to survive. Like, someone... Yeah. Someone could... She don't get close. Hates being oh, shit. Touched. Who likes it then? Never slapped, spiked, or like. Kids. What the heck? Right, I was gonna say. No, don't tell me I just forgot. <laughs> Did I... Bloody kids. Oh, now, now I remember, now I remember. Some people named their kids, like, Spitbucket? as their first name, just because they did not expect them to survive many winters and such. Yeah, child fatality was uh, rather high. Birthdays were really more of a thing to celebrate. They survived this, this freaking winter. Let's hope they survive the next. Yeah. It was horrible. So I still want to get a freaking top hat at some point. <laughs> oh, kitty. Yeah, if there's anything, people still love top hat. As stupid as these things typically look. They're not too stupid. but depend on the sign, of course. And that's gonna free some food into the machine. Okay. And try not to get killed. And uh, yeah, as you can see, they take the they take a bit of liberal. <laughs> oh. Hello, puss. Puss, 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 puss. Don't be afraid. The depictions of people are quite uh, artistic, I'll say. Oh, and of course. That'll teach him. Be him good. Uh. Yeah, the good old times were not all that good. 
let's wait a bit for the gear to return. Theophilius Everett Horton, clockmaker. Okay. And welcome back. I was thinking of something, but I already forgot it. All living things die eventually. Still, the creature's remains are always poignant. And it's a horse's skull. And then there's the cats. Alright. One of the things that I could guess was better than Pos was not the same type of overpopulation. But that's it, really. Actually, my favorite. Have you, haven't you man always had a problem with overpopulation? Yeah. You could say it's uh, an F. It's a side effect of, uh, yeah, child, yeah, bur uh, child death being so high in the past. Has become a habit. I hope it's not a vice. Yeah, I think people may expect there's a lot of <clears throat> adult theme around. Stars and garters, Alice Little. It's slumming again, are we? Nurse Witless. What luck. Twice in as many months. Out on your own? You look frazzled, dearie. Not doing well? Not really. Come along home then and look at my pigeons. Pretty birds. Like you. I don't think so. Our last visit cost me several pounds and got me nowhere. I might recall where your mangy rabbit got to. Still a mess. No surprise. Her kin roasted like chestnuts right before her eyes. Ten years in Rutledge Asylum wasted everyone's time. Dr. Bumby won't do better. Still hauling out her questions. The fire, her memory. I deserve consideration, don't I? Who found her her new clothes? Who got her a place at Bombay's? Where'd she be without me? On the street, selling her backside. Ooh, like some of pigeons, though. She's doled out the odd pound or two. But what I know is worth more than that. Kept her secret, haven't I? Heard her say, all died on my account. I couldn't save you. I've told her my silence is for sale. Keep. I'm a good sort, really. Not like her nanny, that uppity whore. Or that lawyer fellow Radcliffe took her stupid rabbit. Need money. Warned her I'd tell the coppers if she didn't make a donation to my upkeep. She yells and goes off her head. Does she can of remember her name? What I heard. Again, yeah. not for kids. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, at least I think this one had, yeah, I think this game at least had an appropriate uh, age rating. Yeah. Poop is just really a it's really just a case, but the birds don't seem to mind. Well, for them, a nest is a nest. True. And, uh, yeah, all of this. Yeah. I would not enjoy living here. Like some Victorian things I do Nurse like. Do you mean to help uh, me? To send me back to the asylum? I won't say no. I've a first you could photograph. Need a drink. One mouth needs one.
Yeah. And welcome to Wonderland. I want to go home. But even here, she isn't uh, without her smears. Yeah. Oh dear. And in case people wonder, if I recall right, she, in this game she is about she is eighteen. Very upsetting journey, but I'm rid of Pris or whatever she's become. At least the place I've landed is somewhat familiar. What the? About time too, Alice. Blasted cat! Don't try to bully me. I'm very much on edge. Perfect. When you're not on edge, you're taking up too much space. You're no help at all. But you know I can be. I'll frighten myself. When necessary, thanks very much. I was hoping to escape from all that. Abandon that hope. A new law reigns in this wonderland, Alice. It's very rough justice all round. We're at risk here. You be on your guard. I think that's the same voice actor as the cat in the previous Alice game. Most likely. Uh, I think the previous one she was 15 or 16. Uh, only reason I say it, I think I recall people mentioning her age. Could be. And only we now. As I, I have seen this many times on YouTube. Only now, this up close, I realize she has a skull on her bow. Yep. I swear, you joke so well. What? Yeah, memory from her family. Yeah, but... It, it, that's quite a thing to say. <laughs> I very much doubt that Alice can jump this high in the real world. Uh, uh, Hila, you can easily jump that high. And yeah, we have a bit of a double jump. First one gives a good amount of height, but the rest not as much. They're more for vertical, for horizontal travel. Uh, uh, okay, this game is beautiful, but also Depressing. beautiful, weird, and sad. Yeah. Um, you were to say? <clears throat> yeah, just depressing and disturbing. Yeah, th those are definitely a part of it. Another memory. If you leave from that table again, Alice, I'll expire. You're two times too reckless, my girl. I do love the voice acting for... This is not just I picked some Americans to make a fake a a British accent. They actually used people that knows how to speak with an accent. Yeah, there's always just something to just old, well, just British language in general when it's actually genuinely spoken as British. Amanita yeah. Muscaria Alice is merely a stinky toadstool, a spongy consistency, but poisonous. But like I say, you can have an American to do a British accent. Just if you're gonna do it, do it with one that knows how to do it. Yeah. Otherwise, it just comes off as weird. Yeah, or worst case, offensive. If they I really mess up. Before. Good things in small packages? Though uh -oh. lacking a bathing costume, a plunge in that pool is in order. My god, I'm shrinking in this potion. Sh shall I disappear? Almost. But the upside is that while smaller, you can see things that are nearly invisible to your bigger self. Ah, I get it. Right. Forests for the trees. Just the other way round. Short-sighted is more than a matter of perspective. Okay! And, yeah, we, can, we have control over this now. Okay, we need to hold it. While shrunk, Alice will gain shrink sense, which allows her to see stuff like this, and she'll <laughs> occasionally burp out bubbles. Uh, we saw something back 
Okay, we saw another keyhole like that a bit back. Or just to just lead us back there. Look how small she's become. All curled up. She's barely there. A vixen in her hidey hole. I can't take that that sentence seriously. But again, the term vixen has kind of be, been tainted on me. Okay, and this this is this the clip did just loop back on us. Yeah, so now uh, we can go here. Probably wondering, I know vixen is a term for female fox. But I wouldn't reason the reason years learned that. For other times it was used for something else. Yeah. Let's see. Oop. They got snail and teeth, which are, well, are coins in this game. Because, of course, it couldn't be something wholesome and it had to some, yeah, be something gruesome, like pulled teeth. Fun fact! Orcs and goblins use teeth at currency in Warhammer. Oh, for the KF fantasy. <laughs> okay. So they got something weirdly in common. Let's see, anything hidden here? There is this that points... Yep. I'll never have more fun alone than when I rode the big slide in Hyde Park. Papa will take you soon, Alice. Yeah, that's Alice's older sister speaking, I believe. Yeah, her older sister. And random slide. Uh -oh. This slide looks uncomfortable. Yeah, at, at least it's not... Uh, the nail is going along this, you know, this chalkboard. <laughs> okay, we can slow I... down a bit by holding back. Again, I tried, but this noise is horrible, and the sensation you get in your own fingers while doing this is horrible, so I can never do it properly without moving my hand away. Yeah. Try it um... yourself, Indian. Have you tried to scratch your nails on a black chalkboard? Nope, and I have no reason to try. Yeah, don't. You 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 do you won't like it. The Vorpal blade is swift and keen and always ready for service. I've not come back here looking for a fight. Really? That's a pity. One's certainly looking for you. I need to look up that voice actor again. I think they're still alive. No, that's a knife. Yeah. The Vorpal Blade it goes snick snack. It leaves them dead. There's uh, something. A scene. A scene and. What's that term? Lost lettering there. A scene and. A previous Fem poem. Oh! And yeah, someone just stepped into my room. Let's see. The Vorpal Blade this, you know, inflicts the swiftest damage to a single target at close range. Because it wouldn't be, well, a sequel to McGee's Alice without there being combat. And if I remember correctly, that was the skeleton of the Jabberwocky from the first Alice. Yep. Their own version of a dragon. But flight often just means putting off the fight for another day. Choose your battles wisely, Alice. Okay, the timer has gone off, but I will show off a bit more of this game. Because otherwise I'd be accused of teasing people. When things are just about to go off the edge. Yeah, and this game is worth going a little bit over time for. Back to that. Ugh. Insidious Ruin. Okay. Caps lock. Oh, that's, there we go. Yeah, I think people have seen Victorian dolls. Yeah, and they're creepy as all hell. Yeah, and they just get creepier with age. What was that? Oh yeah, let's give it five more minutes. 
And I will. And... Gonna go grab my food. So try Our not to die. Purpose is simple and immutable. Human purpose is fickle because it is a slave to memory. Memories must be strictly managed, Alice. Unproductive ones must be eliminated. Like there is something to say about uh, processing bad memories, but just outright deleting memories. Uh, that's just going to lead to making the same mistakes again, if they were mistakes made. Well, if they were things inflicted on somebody, that'd be a bit more debatable. Let's see. Jumping hold spacebar to initiate floats. To further extend float, press and hold spacebar again while jumping. <clears throat> so basically, each one of our double jumps has its own extends the float a bit. There we go. Use multiple times while jumping. Anything here? There we go. And let's go that way. Oh, hello. A golden memory. A bottle. Okay. There are hidden collectibles spread throughout the place. Oh, I see where that is going over there. And another bottle. Hmm. And the uh, hello there. Ah, it's you again, Alice. You may approach. Why would I do that? You want to eat me? Yes, well, you taught me manners. And I've lost my taste for mad women. Strictly a porcine diet for me. Everything's better with bacon, don't you agree? Of course you do. Now, there are pig snouts scattered about. I heard a few behind the house. Go fetch them for me. But take care for the pests that block your way. Pepper them up if they do. They need spice. And you're just the dish, a girl, to season them for me. You'll find that grinder serviceable. Why not season your own pick parts? Matter of priorities. My alabaster skin needs protection from the disgusting creatures running amok amidst the environs. But one gets peckish. Look, all you have to do is listen for the oink, then shoot the snout. You may like the results. I certainly will. Uh, yeah, the, if I recall correctly, the Duchess. Uh, in the previous games, she was a lot less uh, agreeable. And also a whole lot yeah. more dead. And that title, I'm still confused about the, the Duchess title for... Every time I think about the word Duchess, I somehow, somehow still think about the Dutch. <laughs> uh, without the T. I'll, uh, yeah. I'll take no association with this woman. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it's... I still wonder if it's just coincidental spelling or it has some relation at all or what. I'm very confused. Uh, if there is, I don't know. Let's see. The Duchess's Pepper... Uh, the, yeah, the Duchess's Piglet Edition Pepper Grinder. Spice up your foes, prepare savory snouts. <laughs> well, okay. that's some British humor. Uh, yeah, it's basically... A Gatling gun with a limited charge, but it refills up. <laughs> and yeah, what's the, what she was saying about uh, snouts is that there are there will be flying <laughs> pig snouts hidden all over the place. It's if you well pepper them up, nope, bolt or fly. If you pepper them up, the uh, will reveal air reveal stuff. Oh dear. Take up the nest. And I heard she talked about porcelain skin. Uh, uh, alabaster wait. skin. Yeah, here's a thing, people. Back in those days, having a sun time was a sign of being poor. Or you being out in the sun all day working in the fields. Yeah. Though, it is. He okay. It is rude thinking, but. Okay, here's the thing. Sun is good for you, but any, but the, getting your skin tanned is actually not healthy at all. 
is actually a sign that your skin taking damage. Okay. I shouldn't even start peeling off. Yeah, it's, we're gonna get sunburned. Yeah, uh, so technically taking sitting on the beach and just taking a sun buff is not healthy. If you do it too much. Or... Indeed, and uh, uh, technically you should not get some any stand at all, preferably. Or at least okay. as n n not as much as any people to go to the beach just to get the sun tan. That if you're gonna get the tan, just get it normally. Just don't go to the beach. Technically, just get for it. Okay, throughout every domain, keep an ear out for snouts. Enter aiming mode and shoot the snout with the pepper grinder. Once the snout is full of pepper, it reveals paws and collectibles. So that's what those are for. But let's call it here. We've given this game its half hour. And uh, yeah, I I was already planning on streaming this eventually already. And this just confirmed it. Uh, what would you say about this game on streaming it? Definitely streaming it. And before I forget it, so not people get me wrong. People born that with tan skin or dog skin, they have natural sun protection. So they are less likely to get the side effects. Yeah. Okay, moving on to the third game of today. Here we go. Uh, it doesn't have the pop-up like most, but this is Alien Swarm Reactive Draw. Uh, which is actually... Uh. <laughs> which is typically more of, uh, of a multiplayer game. Uh, though it is pretty cheap, I believe. And then I realized that I forgot to reveal the chatty program again on the side here. Let's see, mission prep. We've got multiple types of characters to choose. Yeah, to, to choose from. We have leader, we have officers, special weapons, you know, medic and tech. And of course, yeah, officers are ta -ta -ta, more. Okay, the, he has leadership though i don't really sp know what that specifically does uh, damage explosives health bonus and melee damage or no uh, damage in this guy's case okay the last one seems variable okay uh, let's see joseph conrad is a tough experienced soldier he is one of the few people to have survived a large-scale swarm invasion an experience which forced him into the driven man he is today a strong commander, he leads both by example and through the not-so-gentle application of verbal for the ass. <laughs> he knows his team well and pushes hard to keep them at their best. Uh, Wildcat. Growing up, Wildcat had an anticipated following in the footsteps of her military fa uh, family. In school, she dreamed of corporate life, business suits, a nice corner office. But the swarm took that away. Every able-bodied man and woman in her age, co uh, in her age cohort, was funneled into hopeless defense of the colonies. By the time she was 25, the cause was lost. The, f the colonies decimated, her family dead and scattered. Wildcat transferred into an elite unit to continue the fight. Yeah. Let's take her. She starts off with an auto gun and an assault rifle, and she has combat flares. Okay. Mission details. Uh. Yeah, offline practice. Access the inner perimeter. Download the flight data. Activate the elevator car, uh, cargo uh, cargo elevator and descent. Access the uh, facility exterior. Dropship Bloodhound will dock at the outer landing bay. Your squad must perform your your squad must perform a sweep of the immediate area and gain access to the inner perimeter. We expect the doors in this section to be locked, so a technical engineer will be mission critical to bypass the security locks. Luckily, since we are well, playing this solo, we'll have we'll have bat we'll have bots with us. And what is the regular spawning? AI director will spawn wanderers and hordes of aliens to give you a new challenge. Okay, so sort of like Left 4 Dead. Uh, let's. Okay, so there is friendly fire, which can't be disabled, but at least it causes only little effect. And what is all of this? Challenges. Uh, let's 
let's not touch those. And uh, how do I get back? Okay, start mission. You'd think that that would also be here in the mission details, but okay. We we're getting along. Swords, faith, and crash. Officer, medic, and tech. Okay, let's start then. And immediately it goes in with. So that is quite fast with this. Okay, squad, we need to check the shipping manifest. See if any survivors made it off this rock. Make your way down to the landing bay and find a terminal where we can download the transport records. I'll check in with you there. You take. Uh, is there an option for subtitles? Uh, let's see, audio. Captioning, yes. Uh, subtitles only. We can take a better look at the map like this, but it isn't too useful. Also brings up the details and objectives again. Okay. Melee with the right mouse button. And yeah, something's happened here. Let's see. Yeah, what the heck has happened? Got it. Okay, we can order the bot to do its work. Oh, it's a, it's a finger poking a button. I was wondering why is the icon a shower head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, things have gone to shit here. On the minimap, we can also see where everyone is looking. So that'd be very useful for com <clears throat> for communications. And yeah, here are the enemies, the swarm. Ugh. Who appear as red dots on the minimap. So you can tell if there's a few behind you or not. Okay. Let's weld that shot. That'll make it more difficult for enemies to get through there. Though it will not make it impossible, since they can just break it down. Yeah, let's not shoot the explosive when we're standing next to it. When they are, we, that's just fine. Okay. Okay, we're welding this one ourselves. We're unwelding it. Okay. Get through. And roll it shut again. And that one we can open. Okay, is that shot? Yes, it's shot. Oop. Okay, let's keep moving. I believe... I think... it. Ha I have played this game before. Or maybe the first game of it? Um, I'm not entirely sure. Oop. Um, but yeah, that was a while ago. I think someone wanted to play it with me. Oop. Okay, we... Okay, sentry gun case. Mm, I'm not sure if I want to change out my gun for that. I can leave it behind. I can blow it behind us. Okay, pick that back up. And leave that be. Oops. They are so creepy. It, it, it's a simple design, but still unsettling. Yeah, it, it's basically a big mouse. You got it. No With big fingers. With giant claws. Like, oh, I, I don't like it when you do a simple but yet terrifying design. That sounds like a swarm is coming. Yep. Well, a swarm of swarm is coming. They're easy to shoot down, but that's because they're... Well, it's more about numbers with them. Okay, we got the flight data. 
We haven't needed to re reload ourselves yet. Oh, yeah, we weren't supposed to. Yeah, these manifests are useless. Guess record keeping wasn't exactly high on the priority list when the swarm hit. We are now search and rescue until otherwise informed, so keep an eye out for survivors. Head for the far exit, and then we'll regroup. Wait. Uh, I hear something. Is this going to open or not? Or did I accidentally lock us out? No problem. You got it. Uh. Okay, I might have broken it, it seems. <laughs> Come on. Well done! Okay, is there anything else here or do I... I actually need to restart this now? Oh. Yeah, I th <laughs> think I've broken it. Uh, Drop that up. Okay, I think I accidentally gave a, a different account, a different command for that to be done. And it's not really being too specific with how what everything does, but I'm guessing shift and then just uh, the number will send them over. Wait, oh, don't tell me you accidentally told them to wield it when you want to mm -hmm. open it. Wait, there's a yeah, control it, it panel. It isn't wielded need. now, but so it should open, but yeah, it's not. It, there's a control panel like there that's sparkling. I don't think that's a control panel, since we can't seem to interact with it. Oh. Okay, let's do a restart then. Mission failed! It's a bit of a, an oversight, though, if you can soft lock yourself out. Okay, restart. Yeah, do, it could also be a bug that sometimes happens or rarely happens, and you just got unlucky. Okay, if, if it glitches there again, it's okay, an automatic fall, fail. We need to check the shipping manifest, see if any survivors made it off this rock. Make your way down to the landing bay and find a terminal where we can download the transport records. I'll check in with you there. Okay, let's take a different way. You got it. Time for me to work my magic. Okay, this time we've got... Okay, we got the same crew down. Okay. Okay. Similar to Left 4 Dead, I'm, I, yeah, you're sort, of, you're sort of required to keep moving forwards the entire time. Otherwise, you're going to get run or overwhelmed and uh, <clears throat> run out of ammo. Swap for a hand welder. There's no need for when we can just send the tech to do that. Oop. Our, our vision back they, is a bit limited. They, 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 that one almost gave you a kiss. Everyone through. Well, it's shut again to stem the flow. Yeah, that hand roller is just there in case you somehow started this without uh, attack. Okay. Keep moving. And this time let's not glitch it. There we go. Oop. Okay, why is the pop-up up in there now for some reason? Uh, I have no idea if that them blowing up like that causes any damage or not. Yeah, I, I will say that the first time that I tried this game or the other one, I forget which one specifically it was. Uh, it didn't interest me too much because it it does it does have lore, but it doesn't really tell you much up ahead except for. Yeah, aliens go kill. Oh, 
Yeah, I suspect this game was more focused on multiplayer team play. Yeah. Okay, we got the flight data. Yep, we're low on ammo. Now oh, these manifests are useless. Guess record keeping wasn't exactly high on the priority list when the swarm hit. We are now search and rescue until otherwise informed, so keep an eye out for survivors. Head for the far exit and then we'll regroup. And deploy ammo. Okay, that's from crash. And there we go, just fill up. I... Uh, uh... Hmm? Yeah, if I recall correctly, I if, run into any if I recall correctly, any ammo still left in your clip is lost. And okay, we can just blow it down ourselves. Bloody heck! I, I think many games like this usually have less story. But some try, but I think many don't bother as much due to. Well, when you have four players, it's gonna be troublesome to have everyone agree to listen to the story. For many, you always have a few who just, I just wanna play the game, and don't wanna listen to yeah. the story, where, where, where. You get the type. The impatient ones. Yeah. Why are we running low on ammo so quickly now this time? Okay, let's just keep going until we completely run dry. I do like the lighting effects. Uh, okay, that's just not going to open. There's just nothing behind that door. Oh, and we can speed it up to reload even there if needed. be. Okay. Oops. Or did I just run out? I think I might have just been automatically reloading so far and just not noticed. Okay. Everyone through. Uh, crash. <laughs> crash. I, I guess you might not like these guys, but uh, <laughs> please let them in. <laughs> uh, oh, or they can just do that. Well, <laughs> what the uh, heck? Uh, just insurance to keep me uh, to ensure that well the bots stay with you and okay if there were any survivors down there there aren't any more now. Oh dear. Okay, I'm. I don't think I see health going down in melee. Okay, it seems that I'm guessing tech is run out of ammo or something. Okay, let's just keep moving forwards. Go. Oh, no shift clicking. Okay, get across. Nope. Okay. Uh, heal up. Crash, seal that up. And yeah, that was an automatic reload. No, there were. Uh, I, I accidentally hit R instead of F. Now, crash, seal this freaking thing up. Okay, why is it. Why did it not need to... Before you had to hold shift for to command him to do that. Oh well. Auto gun ammo. Yes please. Um, more ammo in that. Uh, let's, let's leave the healing for the healer. And move on. Okay. Offhand item. Oh. Players. Okay. Not sure what their use is beyond giving sight, but okay. Uh, as might be a bit obvious, I this game doesn't really do much for me. Yeah, same. Like, I don't feel I had much to comment on, but I was eating food at the same time, so there's that. 
For some reason, this gets put in slow motion. There obviously seems to be some sort of story going on here, but it's just... It's just not hooking, like uh, it's often called. It, there's nothing to really grab onto and get me interested. So why the hell is yeah, it, I, this camera here? I, I, I can say this. It, it has the standard say civilian, we can wear your crime. But it's here it feels so bare boned. It could be interesting with this swarm that seems to be taking over or just completely overwhelming the colonies of this universe. But there is just... It could just be that all of the context is given inside of missions and in character descriptions and stuff, like with Dark Souls, but... Uh, yeah, there are people that enjoy that, but I'm not one of them. Yeah, I, I, I prefer for a bit more... It doesn't have to be spelled out word for word, but to hide everything just around the place. Yeah, that, yeah you're going to hide the story. It's going to burn on it. Like, it may work for Snap. I think it, it gets a good theory community, but in other games that might not work as effective. Oh well. Yeah. This game would probably be just better for just having fun with friends. Yeah, I, I suspect that it is more meant for that. Yeah. So maybe we'd stream this every now and then if I right, find some people willing to... You know, willing to play with. Yeah, play it with. Yeah, for now... Let's just end this. Okay. Sharpshooter and Zero Mortality. Okay, it must... Alright, I'm pretty sure I played that level before. So... Maybe this maybe this game, Alien Swarm Reactive Drop, is more of a remake of the original? Because when I checked things out a bit. This game was released in 2017. And the original Alien Swarm released in 2010. Hmm. Okay. It's a normal difficulty without any marines dying. Better than 90% accuracy, which is which is easy to do with a gun that, uh, well, auto-targets. Which was that red little circle around enemies that I was pointing at. <laughs> Protect the tech. Guard the squad's tech so it takes no damage during the hack. Okay. Um... Let's see, kills. Uh, I got the most, obviously. It starts second, then crash and faith over there. Uh, health. <laughs> I was obviously the meat shield with this. It seems that every class starts off with a different amount as well. Yeah, if, of course, they, they have different amounts in their health, uh, in their health stats. And no friendly fire from me, but friendly fire from both Sarge and Faith. Okay, now how do we get out of this? Really, you're going to run the credits on that? Uh, Wait, how do Valve I get out? made this? Apparently, oh. Okay, start new campaign. Jacob's Rest. Perform a sweep at the landing. Uh, cargo elevator. Proceed down the central... Okay, that's the first mission. Oh, come on. I wanted to have details about it, not go there immediately. Uh, and then there's... Okay, it's, li it's little things like this that can really annoy me. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's check out again. Nuclear... No. Operation Clean Sweep. Where, did I hell, where the hell did I get nuclear from? Uh... I I have command sends out your team of elite marines to find and destroy the source of the infestation. Okay, these are e these are each different campaigns. Okay, then there's the levels within them. The cargo elevator. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm I'll probably look through this game more on my own to see if it gets any better. Uh, if it does, if well, if it gets any better with story, that is, 
Uh, if it does, then maybe we might pick this up every now and then in the weekend. But for now, though, uh, yeah, I'm calling it early on this one. So yeah, that's pretty good. Down. For we did go a bit over time with Alice. Yeah. And that means that we're moving on to the fourth game. And this one I can see, I can say right away, it is very, very, very unlikely that we'll be streaming this for its story for, well, a, a pretty simple fact in that I cannot survive in this game for more than five minutes or something like that. Oh. All right. Let's see what you are referring to. Come on. Let's see if I'm gonna need gonna hug you or laugh at you. Why is it not picking it up? It picked it up early. There we go. A game by Emir Games. Mortals. Once the conceived tools to dominate life on Earth, they focused their abilities on dominating each other. Empires rose and fell as man took part in an evolutionary and technological arms race. Man's instruments of warfare became ever more powerful and complex, resulting in the ability to instantly share information worldwide. A new kind of battlefield emerged, and war evolved. None predicted that the tools that created information warfare would forge a united worldwide consciousness. This new consciousness struggled against aggression, pervasive manipulation, and globalist slavery driven by the few at the cost of the many. Dissent and anti-authoritarian ideals came to the fore, as is the pattern of humanity. The elites began to lose control. Desperate, they attempted to subdue the consciousness with a biological agent, but the pathogen mutated, and they had no choice but to contain it using the last tool of all, the final instrument. The wings of Icarus burned in the nuclear fire. Man was toppled from the apex to a hunted, mad animal, only surviving for fear of death. They were almost alive. Yeah, you can guess this is not uh, a happy game and not an easy one either. But what a shit full introduction. Yeah, nope. with a very By obvious heavy on the right. <laughs> wait, 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 was that, Helen? Uh, during that bit of uh, during that uh, table scene, uh, yeah, there was a very obvious Hitler XP on the right side. Yeah, and I think what I'm standing in the middle, but do I did not recognize the others? Like I saw one, the one who shaking in red suit was probably American, but. No idea who he was referring to. Yeah, me neither. So, yeah, let's see if we can survive any <laughs> length of time in this. Uh, wait, wait, when was this game made? Uh, does it say at the start here somewhere? Oh, it has Discord. Time? Okay. Oh, copyright oh, right. 2010 to 2018. So, 2018. Who was the president then? Uh... Uh, I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Trump, but, hmm. Yeah, that kind of did, did, did not really look like Trump. Oh, uh, well. Let's see. Uh, yeah, one of the things about this game is that you can take a lot of... It's an RPG in a... It's it's basically a more hardcore Fallout. I That would be the best way I could describe it. And, yeah, you can take a lot of traits... Uh, or actually, I, I think you might be, <clears throat> I think you might be required to take a certain amount of traits and craziness. Uh, let's see, we have some presets here. Commando. Uh, commandos are assaulters that rush into battle like kamikazes. They train their coordination to be sneaky and move fast while able to aim precisely. A very high level uh, commando can aim for heads while moving. Okay, a psychoger. Psychologists are soldiers that love their job, killing is a sport for them. They can aim faster and better than most people. 
uh, high level soldier will also train his endurance to take more damage and to extend his stamina or strength to reduce firearms recoil. Because it's very, very, very easy to die in this game. Mega Sniper are aiming for heads faster than anyone else and they know uh, they are good at it. They think they are the gods of the wastelands. High level snipers can also train their agility to reign stealthy or dexterity to reduce their regular aim timer. Pacifister. Pacifisters are. <laughs> Pacifist. Pacifister. It don't win now. Are martial artists that respect life. Their philosoph uh, philosophical knowledge uh, made them. Uh, I'm starting the timer here because we might be stuck. I'm not going to stay and spend too much time on this. I'm not going through each of these. I'm just going to look through these. Uh, their philosophical knowledge made them pacifists, but they can deliver fatal blows in close combat very easily. They extend their martial arts knowledge by training their dexterity and agility to move faster. Tanko Meso. Tanko Mesos are uh, so used to taking hits uh, that they started loving it. They are the shields... Uh, yeah, miss, <laughs> typo. They are the shields of battle but they can also use automatic weapons, their muscles helping them to reduce the recoil. Uh, being partially soldiers or commandos will extend their weapon control. And Periscouts. Periscouts are the best at taking points. They can spot enemies undetected, another typo, a, a double N, and conduct actions without being seen. Their paranoia make, make them way more cautious than, mo than most, but they're still alive, right? A good scout will also train his perception. Let's Let's see, that gives us Rambo. You love 80 you love shitty 80s movies. You think that you know how to handle big machine guns and weirdly it actually yeah, kinda works. This is a game after all. Look logic. Scare face. A lot of knife fights left at your face. Goddamn ugly. It's quite intimidating. And pirates. You had a pirate way of life. Maybe you were a robber, but most likely fighting in bars and driving your Harley. And each of these uh, have affecting stats. Uh, uh, are you feeling all right off the arena, that Helium? <laughs> and yeah, each of these have their own costs, it seems. And you need to end up on zero, I'm presuming, or perhaps a top, perhaps above zero or something. Uh, like I said, I've never survived much long in this game, and as of that, I don't know much about it. Let's see. Craziness, we have Challenger. You love challenging yourself and others. You like beating other people, even if that means killing them. People that challenge all the time will you know, probably become fearless. And Masochist. Loves getting wounded, might even hurt himself to feel more some pleasure. Yeah. Oh no. And then we have oh, our stats no, here. Oh no, flashbacks. Okay. Uh Basically, if you want an anime, I, I watched and quit. Do you got to be too weird? There was some pa paladin temple girl called Darkness, and she was a master sist, and she she enjoyed being hit so much that even terrified her enemies. Okay. Most of all, they got weirded out. I don't recall this here. Attribute points. Uh, let's see. Wrestler, you are losing less stamina while wrestling with an opponent like a man. In mod grabbing, not implemented yet. <laughs> uh, ghoul, your resistance to radiation, uh, your resistance to radiations is too impressive to be natural. Cheater. <laughs> radiations not implemented yet. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing this game is actually still getting worked on. I'm guessing. Uh, obviously, look, Hila, look at the version number. Uh, version 0 0.447, okay. That would make it more of a beta level. Beta or early access. Hmm. Early okay, access I... is, is, can be in beta form even. Uh, let's see, build, you need... No, are these things that we can... Are these skills that we can also put things into? Or, oh no, th these are summaries of what we can or cannot do, or what we're good at or not. Uh, we have low reason, we have neutral seduce, and we have high intimidate. 
or well moderate intimidate according to this um M. Uh, Muhammad Ali, you you seem never exhausted while fighting in close combat. Swinging, punching, cutting, stabbing makes you lose 25% less stamina. Okay. Uh, you like breaking stuff, you can use crowbars to break doors and locks. Let's grab that as well then. And let's get started and see how quickly this character will die. Okay. Very different art style here. You have been dirt guilty of treason. You gave us no other option, Sarge. Put a bag on his head and execute this sentence. I'm sorry, brother. I must follow the orders. A bit obvious, uh, Brotherhood of Steel looking <laughs> types. It, it, it looks almost like old school Warhammer. Oh, and we get dropped in here. We are under attack. I shall report to my superiors. Uh, okay, come. Hey there, Wastelander. Check the options menu in the main option. Click the button in the upper left or press escape. Okay, we have this thing going at us. And why don't you listen to me? Check that goddamn options if you want to live. Uh, options, yes. I'm just getting confused here now. Next tip. Uh, now to move around, click somewhere when not in combat mode, or use keys. Okay, double click to sprint. Okay. Combat mod modes. You can, yeah, the, the developer of this is uh, not a, a native English speaker, but uh, we won't hold that against them too much. Yeah, typos happen. Okay, shift to sprint. I think Beanie tried this game out at one point. I feel weird, just like if it was all a dream. Or is this actually something that happened to me? No, we have instructions here. Control is crouching and sneaking. Shift sprints. And we pick things up with mouse one. Let's see. Phoenix. Radio. Is it... Again, it's the only things that we can pick up. Soldiers get ready to defend our freedom. There's, oh, there's something. There's rats. Something. Uh, we have. Okay, this is obviously a flashback because this is, that's a, a lot more than the starting stuff. It, the game has a bit of an old school feel. Ready weapons? Defend the outpost from those terrorists that call themselves soldiers. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. I'm the only one getting a bit of a, a very old uh, comic vibe, like 80s comics. They try to be very grim dark. Yeah, every a lot of this looks uh, very old. You see. This is kind of nice as long as you do what use it well. And we died. <laughs> And, yeah, with, with characters being uh, whited out like that, you can fill in the colors by yourself, however you want. And, okay, the game wasn't responding there for a second. So that was a dream. I have a bag on my head. Why? I can't remember anything. My head hurts badly. What happened to me? Who am I? Look, he's standing up. Okay. What the hell am I doing here? My head hurts. I can't remember anything. Oh. These chat boxes and these chat bubbles are going <laughs> by quite quickly. Yeah, that they're going to have to fix that. For, there's obviously a story here, but it's going to be hard to follow. Yeah, and like I said, I've never survived in this game for more than a few minutes. Let's see, you just started the discussion, those allow, uh, those allow to make friends by completing quests or enemies by insulting. Some dialogue options might get you new craziness or remove some, so choose wisely what you are saying. Okay, and craziness were the uh, negative traits. Oh, uh, thanks for the spook, we thought you were dead. You know, looks like I'm not. Uh, and, okay, we, we have access to this because we have Psycho, or I think. Did we have Psycho? I think no, so. I actually forget. 
You should probably not pick that one unless you want to start a mm. fight. Yeah. Okay. I don't know, man. We just cruised by to snag some stuff. Gun ships had, yeah, you know, gun ships drop out you know, past the breakers. We, you should probably go ask the rifts. You know, the rifts, they're always hanging around the coast. Okay, where can I find those guys? You can tag along with us. We are checking the bar and heading towards the library. Uh, the rift base will be on the left. Yes, I'll follow you. Just give me a minute to gear up. I'll be right back. Okay, we can grab the machete here. Check That's this a out. big machete. It looks more like a falchion. Okay. We've got some food, bandages, pistol ammo, and throwing knives. And there's something else here. Sunglasses. Okay, gotta look cool if we're going to die. Uh, we're going if we're going to die soon, anyways. We have Max and. I can't tell their name when it popped up because of this here. The camp button? The hell is a camp button? Camp button. Rest and save. Uh, yeah, let's just go uh, follow these guys. Okay, I never see what you mean. Yeah, okay, that doesn't make sense. Raynar. Oh, so much and what, wake up what the hell that nightmare seems so real what okay now I'm getting oh. confused I think you re restart uh, from here from, by doing wake up okay and yeah that's how easy you can die <laughs> even when we specifically took a class that's supposed to be tanky yeah, this game needs work. Like, it, it, the concept is interesting. Though, obviously, it needs a bit polish. But it is I, I, a. I, I, I know that people, you know, some people really like it when games are hard as balls, but uh, less so me. Yeah, I prefer easier kind of the store and such, but there has been moments I raised difficulty simply due to it was a bit so easy it was not even fun. Yeah, and on the other spectrum you have, yeah, that things can be so hard that they can't be fun. Like, I know that there are people, you know, but we probably sound like people who would say that Dark Souls need an easy mode or something, but uh, in Dark Souls, at least things are balanced in that uh, what would be the way to put it uh, most deaths are your own fault or just because you haven't been able to learn the patterns yet in this game though you saw we we caught like one bullet and we dropped dead right away yeah and also games like dog souls they usually announce it that it's supposed to be hard so you get a good heads up about it. Yeah. And I'm just grabbing whatever I can find. Let's see, we got ourselves a pistol now. We actually do a pistol. And yeah, already we're full of junk. Let's see. Of course. Uh, 15 strength requirements. Oh, God. Okay. Leather pants. There we go. Okay, I thought we already had some stuff equipped. Uh, combat pants. Uh, resistances are... Looks... Okay, the leather pants that we found was actually better than that. A bit odd. And why is this it's called plastic? It's it's obviously a, a sort of bandolier. Uh, let's leave one of those behind. Detector. Let's take that. A helmet. And a uh, human leg. Mines Lovely. box. Okay, uh, let's see if we can catch up to those dudes if they haven't gotten themselves shot. Enemies uh, can hear you like you can hear them when you run or when you 
shot when you shoot guns without silencers. Oop, oop. Let's find a bit of cover and see if we can use this rifle that we found. It's actually loaded. Okay. Oh. Wait. How, how did he shoot over that and I... Uh, yeah, like I said, you, I, I very much doubt I'll be able to stream this game simply because, yeah, either I just completely suck at it or, yeah, probably just that. Yeah. Well, it is not probably not finished version. Okay, so yeah, let's so, cut this one short as well because this is just a oh, a hard no for me. Graphitis. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to mean gra you know, graphics. Hmm. But yeah, <laughs> this this game will likely not get streamed simply because I just cannot play it for anything more than a few minutes before getting myself killed somehow. Yeah. And oh, I still wonder if it was made only by one person. And there's multiple. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know much. Um, I don't know what else I can much say about this since yeah, yeah. I just I just can't find any enjoyment in it. Just getting killed yeah. over and over and over and over. Yeah, it has an interesting concept at all. The problem is how ridiculously ridiculous it is to die. Like you you don't give it a chance to enjoy the game or learn anything. Yeah, so there, yeah. I think there are still people who like this game. Uh, probably people who've put in a lot more time into it as well to to figure things out through trial and error but yeah i i just don't have the time to invest in i just don't have that time to invest in a game and certainly not that i'll be starting my new job tomorrow which will only give me like uh five four hours a day uh to myself besides sleeping and uh work and traveling to and from work Oh, dear. But, yeah, let's call it on that one. And, yeah, then we have... That's our four games for today. Some cut short. Uh, normally, we would go on to the backup game, but we are already at almost two hours, so let's not. Yeah, good luck showing a game in eight minutes. Yeah, so to recap then, Age of Wonders 3... It does look interesting. We'll just have to check how long things might take to stream this. That's one for its story. Yeah, so that's one is a maybe. Yep. Uh, Alice Madness Returns. That's a yes. And yes. Alien Swarm Reactive Drop is also a maybe, depending on if the later missions are... Uh, depending on how much story is actually in the rest of the game. Yeah, um, I agree, that's a maybe. Yeah, almost alive. Uh, yeah, that's no almost about that. That's just a hard no. Yeah, hard no until it's fixed. The consumer really got copyrighted. Those makes me wonder if they're still working on it or not. Uh, I'll take a quick look on Steam, it, how long ago the last update was. Uh, okay, yeah, it's it still calls it the beta release there, and the last update was July 15th, 2021. Okay. So last year. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, well, probably still just a hard no. They'd have to inst they'd have to put in a guy an easy mode for me to even get a foot in the door there. <laughs> yeah. That, that was just ridiculous. Again, nothing against people who like that sort of thing in games. Uh, I just don't. Yeah, same. Okay. Uh, for now, though, dinner should be soon, so probably not... Well, yeah, I'll still look for someone to raid, perhaps. Uh, give me a sec here. 
Uh, anyone who is on that I know? Uh, not at the moment, no, but there are some other people around. So let's see. Uh, you can you can decide again if you want. There is someone playing uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D. There's someone playing Spelunky 2. Um, yeah, beyond those two, it, the ones that it are being recommended to me are just <clears throat> huge ass uh, channels that uh, be behaving weirdly. Uh, sea of Thieves 2.2k viewers. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear uh, let's see here who's playing Zelda uh, a channel called John S. Uh, S. Reed never heard of then again I don't know me there's so many YouTubers and Twitch streamers that it's impossible to know them all yeah so shall we, ju shall we jump on by the with the Spelunky one then I'm sure what Spelunky is even. Yeah, it, I'm pretty sure. I think we've covered it on Showcase Sunday. It's that uh, I, I, I think I think we specifically covered Spelunky too. It's that game where you, uh, it's a two day game where you go down as far as you can. Uh, that doesn't really narrow it down much. What, it, hey, was hey, weird. Uh, it, it was weird. It was. On the moon with the daughter of the two previous characters that we were playing, or that you could play. Okay, okay, yeah, I recognize that. I recognize that. Okay, and the one who's playing that and is is called that Conrad Zimmerman. Okay. Okay. He did so... a name with your friends for. It is more fun to read someone you know. Yeah. So I'll just open up a tab for here. Then I can actually jump along with the raids. This should be muted. Yep, the audio is being muted. Okay, slash raids. No need for it to be <laughs> capitalized from cast lock. Okay then. Uh, yeah, a good batch, a half of which are like are possible for streaming. Um, yeah, Tuesday we'll probably be able to do a usual stream, but past that I'll have to look into when I can or cannot stream. Uh, most like uh, on days that I'm free, which will be moving around likely from which days can and with, on which days I don't have to work. On those days, if they overlap with stream days, uh, actually I actually probably better if I get a free day, I'll probably try to stream on that time. Uh, other than that, I'll just have to check when or when not I can stream or not. I'll try to... Uh, I get my schedules two weeks in advance, so I should be able to put up screen, stream schedules on the Discord and such. Yeah, and we will see, we can see, we can start earlier or such for... This coming yep. week, you have early shift, correct? Yep, which also means that I'll have to go to bed around the time the time I'd usually stream. Yeah, <laughs> so we will require you to almost start one or two hours earlier. Okay, um, so for now I'll start the raids, and yeah. Uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you Little Tree Live for chatting along for a bit. Uh, always welcome. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, thank you anyone else who has been watching now or later or without an account. Uh, thank you all the same. And like I said, from here on, things will be <clears throat> more yeah, variable on when I can't or can't stream. I'll still try to stream at least one time during the main day, during the main week. Uh, on <clears throat> I probably can't, but we'll have to check Saturday, we can probably keep going as is. Sunday will be more spotty, since, yeah, if I have to... Mm, actually, yeah, I'll have to check things out on how that will go. It could be that during some times I'll have to be asleep during this time to be uh, yeah, up for this, for, this, for this shift on Monday. But we'll only be find out that. For now, though, 
Thanks again. And until then, have a nice day. Until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks. And watch out for seagulls. There we go. Ugh. That went reasonably really well. So it was a bit odd with what uh, Discord did earlier. If it even was Discord. Uh. Yeah, uh, probably like Trigon, maybe to, but we don't watch Trigon for two hours, really. But still, yeah, it will depend when you get back from the meal. Yep, see you next time, my friend, and have a good feast. We will. <laughs>